Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelechi, but you already know that. Today I am going to be showing you a new trick, a new tip or trick, whichever that you can use in Canva. It's a bit similar to the previous one. If you check my YouTube channel, there is a video I recently uploaded. This particular tip is quite similar to that one, but just a bit different. It's still relating to frames so without wasting much time i will get right into it but before that i would love for you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you've not done that and you can just go through there are a lot of videos on my channel that might be helpful to you if you are designing with canva and you want to step up your canva game range from animations um social media posts and the like there's a whole lot of tips a whole lot of tutorials that you can benefit from you can just check that out now to our tutorial i'll go to create a design and just use instagram post sorry for the notifications that just pop in oh. okay so this is our canvas now like i said it's going to be from a tip that you can use on your frames is just the tip is all about um adding color to frame background yeah making it more colorful and not just plain so we're gonna go over to elements click on frame the previous tutorial i said we can use we you have to use a frame with borders but this particular one you don't need a frame with borders you can use simply the one without borders like this or any frame at all so this is the frame now you're going to select one frame okay then you're going to duplicate the frame now we have two we have two frames so i'm going to place this on top of the first one make sure that it's make sure that they are in the same space now we have one at the top and we have one on the bottom now what i'm going to do next is i'll go over to the photo i want to use and i want to use this particular photo i'm going to click on this just like the first one you have to remove the background for this to work hopefully this is not going to take much time go over to edit image and click on the background remover remember you cannot remove the background of an image directly from canva if you're not if you don't have a prior account Okay, so it's best for you to get a pro account because there's a whole lot of benefits that comes with it. But if you don't have a pro account, you can simply go over to an external site like remove.bg and remove the background and upload it back into Canva. Now, this is our image. I'm going to click on background remover and hopefully it doesn't take too long to remove. Wow, voila, thank God. Now, I'm going to click on apply. It's showing saving post, so we have to wait for it to give us the good sign, and it just did. This is the image we've removed, we've successfully removed the background, so now we can put it inside the frame and make sure it's where we want it in the middle. Yes, it's exactly where we want it. So, this is no, remember, we have two frames here, okay? So we've removed the background and we've placed the image in the first frame now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this particular frame and take it to the back okay now go over to photos search for a colorful background if you already have a background in mind to use you can use that already so i think we... should we use this one place it here so there's one frame behind and there's another frame and now you're gonna take this one to the back position backwards now as you can see we've made the background colorful it's not just there it's not just plain we have two frames here to finalize this you have to group both of them Group it, and that's pretty much it. That's everything. 
group it and there you have it i hope you find this tip useful because trust me it's going to add more color to your designs just make it look much more attractive and not just plain so if you find this tutorial helpful please drop a comment drop a like okay let me know so i'll create more thank you and bye bye for now